This is going to blow your mind. I was introduced to an organizational app back in August of 2021. And since then, not only has my YouTube video performance skyrocketed, but so has the quality of my videos, my organization skills for business, finance, future projects, life in general, and most importantly, my daily productivity. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I plan and execute my videos, my workflow, and how I keep focus and get the most out of my day. The app I'm referring to is called Notion. And since August, it is legit the very first thing I open when I boot up my computer every day and the last thing I close before going home. It is my companion that keeps me structured all from the one place. I reached out to Notion to see if they would like to sponsor this week's video, to which they replied, yes, they would. So I'm super stoked to announce that they are the sponsors of this week's video. First of all, yes, the app's completely free and it is a cloud-based system that syncs across all devices. There's a desktop version which I use to get most of my work done, but it's also available to iPhone and Android so you'll never be without it. In the description, you'll find a link to my own personal free Notion template that I've created for you guys and that I've used since owning this app. Feel free to add it to your homepage and work through it as we go. And as I guide you through this tutorial, I'll explain how you can customize this very template to suit your needs. So once you hit the link in the description below, it'll take you to this. This is the template. And you can go over here, hit duplicate, make an account up, and that'll literally just bring it into your, your Notion. You, you got it now, boom, it's in. So for desktop, you don't even need to download the app. You can just literally use it right from your browser, which is pretty awesome. But for me, I'm going to use the app. So this is your Moto Feels home template. Now you can do whatever you want here. You can rename this, um, you can change the logo here, you can change the cover, you can reposition, you can change the icon just by clicking on it. You can add a little comment underneath saying, I'm so cool. And I'm just gonna show you the layout, how I've laid this out first, and then we'll go into customizing and my YouTube workflow, my video workflow. On the left here, you have a little control panel. It's like a quick access menu. You can just quickly just jump through all these without clicking them down here. Very nice and simple, very easy to use. And at the top here, you've got your share. So you can share literally anything, any page to anybody. And they can jump in there and alter things if you want them to. So I've got little tutorial notes here. They're in the, in the blue. Boop those little guys, so you'll see them just like plotted everywhere. First here, I've got my goals. Here's where I list all my goals, short-term, long-term, and I see it every day. It's there in my face as soon as I wake up in the morning and I open this up, boom, I see it. I'm like, hells yeah, goals, motivation. And then moving down here, we've got the creative section. So anything creative, I sort of add here. So it might be ideas, all your ideas, video ideas, ideas in general, um, things you might want to create later on. And then the YouTube video section. I'll go into these very soon. Um, organizational over here, general notes. You can click on that and it's literally just just notes. You know, you can write anything down, thoughts of the day. So this is the, the daily planner, the daily checklist. So whatever you need to get done during the day, lay it all out here first thing in the morning or the day before. And then as you're done, you can just keep on checking them off. If you wanna add more, you can literally just hit enter and be like, install alarm system, that type of vibe. And then you can go ahead and just check that off as well. And if you don't want that there, you can just delete it. And if you wanna move things around, you can just literally click and drag that to there and it moves it around. And you can literally do that anywhere, man. Put it over here, put it over there. This allows me to focus on the one task at the one time. I go crazy sometimes. I'm like, I've got a million things to do. And then I think of all the things at the one time and then I don't get anything done. So this is just like, okay, plan upcoming YouTube video, allow myself 20 minutes to do that, do it, check it off. Done, move on. At 12 p.m., I like to meditate. I like to sort of divide my day up, reset, and then have my lunch, and then tackle the next part of the day. So you can add anything you want here. It doesn't have to be meditate. You can do literally whatever. Go for a ride, go for a run, read a book. And then 1.30 till 7 p.m., I slog it out again and have another whole bunch of things that I need to do after that. And sometimes the list comes down here, man. I'm just like, just checking them all off. Winning, winning. The tomorrow list, I added in. So if I have ideas during the day that I obviously can't do during that day, I add them to the tomorrow list. And then at the end of this day, I'll go and bring in the tomorrow list into the today list. So that when I, I come here in the morning, I boot it up, I see everything's already in, ready for me to rock and roll. And I can just jump in there and start checking all those off as well. And things that need to be done, not necessarily tomorrow, but at a later point, I have the later part here. This week, these are like my major tasks that I need to be done during the week. And then I might have a little breakdown of how I'm gonna do that in different checkboxes. And then I've got my travel here. So I've got my travel ideas, dream moto tours. You can list them all here. So if you go into the camping one, these are literally my personal camping list. You guys now have that. This is what I take. And then you might have your little note section down here. Feed your cat, check the weather, check your tire pressures. Type backslash for commands. So just hit that and then a whole list comes up. And so that's just a bullet list. So I just hit that and then boom, you're ready to go. And you can just hit enter again and keep going. Or if you don't want that, you wanna make a page up, 
you can hit this button here and then it makes a whole new page. So this can be like feed cat and then you can have a full on breakdown of what food you want to get. Dog food, cat food, bird food. That's all for the cat, etc, etc. And now that's that's there. It's like it's as a full on page. And then if you want to add a little icon for it, you can click on the icon, put in your cat emoji. Boom, feed cat. Open that up, you got a little cat emoji there. You can feed the cat. You can full on add a cover photo. Change cover to this. You know, you can fully just customize this however you want to go. And everything's all sort of segmented. So you can just click and drag and just move everything around by just clicking those six dots. Click on that again, and then you can fully just change it to whatever you want again. Just click back on that one. Um, and then places to visit. Keep a list of all the places that people mention that you should go and visit. That's what I've been doing here since moving to Melbourne. So many roads, so many places to visit. So I put them all here so I'd never forget. And you can go full on directions, Google Maps. I've already put the hyperlink in there for you. Boom, that's how far it, <laughs> isn't that nuts? Look at that, that's so far. That's pretty much just the little gist of how I lay out my homepage. Okay, and now we're gonna go a little bit deeper here and I'm gonna show you guys, there's a, there's a templates button here. So users from around the world have created templates to suit their needs and to help other people. So let's just say, for example, let's go simple budget here. And now we just go to use this template. There it is. And we've got it on our little sidebar thing here, but it's not part of the homepage yet. So we're just gonna click and drag that and drag it underneath the murder fields thing and boop, it got put in somewhere. There it is. And now we've got it. And now let's just say we wanna put that over to organizational. There it is there. So now we can keep everything nice and organized. Open that up and then boom, then they've got their own little tutorial on how to type everything in and everything. So the cool thing about these charts is that you can go in and punch in your own formula. So when you hit it here, like an Excel spreadsheet. So when you type in whatever here, it's gonna change everything out the other end, which is nuts. That's something that I haven't really explored yet, but if you wanna go into that much detail, you can. That's how cool this is. And it's super versatile as well. Let me show you. This is how many there are. Habit tracker. Let's take a look at that one. Seven, well, this is a full on habit tracker. <laughs> All right, let's import this one. Boom, use this template. Same vibe. There it goes there. Let's just drag it into our home. There it is. Let's bring it over here. So it's under organizational habit tracker. It, again, it's a different graph, but it's the same sort of principle, just a different application. You can also just go to Google and type in anything you want. If you want a fitness template from Notion, just type in Notion fitness template and then boom, there's a whole gallery of here that people have made for fitness, like from professionals, from amateurs, like everything. Duplicate template, boom, and then it goes straight into your thing. Like it's crazy. And there's like, there's hundreds, there's hundreds of templates that you can use. It's incredible. It's so good. Someone's made every, something for everything. Resumes, job applications, weekly agenda, like come on. And then there's all these as well insane okay so now let's go into the ideas this is how i personally structure my ideas down i have sort of three niches and then i'll just go in and literally if i have an idea i might be riding my bike pull over literally get my phone out go on the ideas tab and just write down whatever the idea is just blurt it out because i know i'll forget i'm the worst and now for a quick access to the ideas tab all you have to do is go over here and press this little star sign boop and that puts it in a favorites in your favorites column here. So you don't have to worry about like going to the homepage and then hitting this. You can literally just open up your phone and it'll be there in your, in your quick access menu. You hit ideas and then boom, you're already in there straight away. It's really cool. And so then review bikes, modify bikes, and weekly vlog. So I've got drop down toggles. So you can just hit that and you can expand on the idea. So, you know, zero to hundred, how, how good it looks, how smooth, how sexy. Um, modify bikes, <laughs> guys, guys. It's really cool. And that's pretty much how I just get my ideas out there. You write them down, write your damn ideas down. And then from the ideas, you move down to YouTube videos. You can either access it from here or you can go back to home and access it through here. Boom, and I usually favorite this as well. So that's just, just there real quick. Okay, so this is where things get pretty, pretty deep. Um, I'm gonna open up my personal one just to show you how it all sort of lays out. Okay, so. These are all the videos that I've done since September, since early September. And it started off with the Five Street Scrambler hacks. That was like my first video that I put up using my new system here. But for an example, we're gonna go for the Insta360 review. Let's open that up. So this was published on November 14. The niche is video photography and it's now published. And that's the link there. I can just click on that. 
360 cameras have been out for some and there it is now. how good's that some... okay so we're just going to go and click on this little open button here and then boom here she is we're going to open it up as a full page all righty so niche is video photography they're my niches video photography um november 14 it's published there were no sponsors for this one and that's the url you can add properties if you want if you want to add more to it you totally can title ideas these were my title ideas so i just write them so just brainstorm so you have like a little good idea just pump it in and then you'll come back and be like oh okay that's that's pretty cool and then you might you might be able to build on that later my thumbnail ideas i, I sort of just wing this one uh and then sponsor information it was unsponsored now I go into research and notes. So this is where I basically go in and list any information that I have on whatever I'm reviewing. I might script some sections of the video out. If any ideas sort of come to mind, if any thoughts come to mind, quality, POV, how is it gonna work? How am I gonna structure this damn video down? It's sort of just like a throw it all out there and just blah, get it, get it out of your head and onto the screen. And then from research and notes comes the script. So I script a lot of my videos. It just makes it a bit easier to, you know, to work through. And then you can see it here. 360 cameras have been out for some time now. 360 cameras have been out for some time now. And although they produce some interesting effects and angles, I honestly have never found them to be that appealing when it comes to capturing motorcycle rides. I like to highlight in purple if I'm going to be talking to the camera like myself, like I am with you right now. Um, it just sort of segregates everything and I know what I gotta do when. Otherwise, I can literally just sit with the microphone in front of me, screen in front of me, and just talk and talk and talk. And to be able to change the color, you can just hit this, go to color down here, and these are your background colors, which is what the purple one was. So we can change it to orange if you want, or we can just change it so it's, it's the text that's um, orange, not the background. Again, heap simple, and you can add in pages, you can add in links again, you can just do whatever <laughs> you want. Um, and then there's a checklist here as well, which I don't really use. I used to use it a little bit just to make sure I've got everything done, but I don't really use this anymore, but I left it in there for you guys, just in case you want to start doing something, work towards something. This is how, this is pretty much the process of uploading and editing. Now this is the film schedule. Oh, I didn't get to do that one, so let's delete that. County rollerblading, um, that was part of the part of the thing. I just had all the dates of when I'm gonna be shooting it all, the dates that we plan to do. And then if I wanted to, I could send him an invite to this as well, so then he can see what's going on and where we're at and what's sort of happening, which is really cool. And this is all available on the free Notion app. Like, it's free. This is all the free version. From my script, I sort of split the screen up in two, like so, and I'll have the script on one side, and as I'm reading the script, I'll go in and punch in all of the shots that I want to get. This may seem like a lot, but this is this is how much work I put into every single YouTube video. So intro part two, Insta360 camera, various angles, funnel, angle, slow-mo, ramp speed into wide of all accessories. What type is it? It's B-roll, so I've got all the different types of tags there, so you can choose whatever you want. If it's an animation, if it's B-roll, if it's A-roll, etc. And how close you want it to be? Is it gonna be wide? Is it gonna be super tight? Is it gonna be macro? Or is it just gonna be a screen recording? And the frames per second, choose the frames per second. So little comments that you can leave where the location is, and then if you've gathered it or if you haven't. And as you go, you just keep ticking them off. And you work through these pretty fast. It's actually surprising how quick you end up getting through. Then also, so let's just say, you know, there's office down here and then like there's office up there and oh, there's, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. We can go to this little search bar here and you can just type in office. Oh, I was gonna learn how to spell office. And then all the office buttons show up. If you wanna just have all the, all the B-roll. And all the B-rolls are there. Like you can just go there and type it just so it makes it easier. You don't see too much of what's going on. Sometimes I'll be out just moto vlogging and I'll have moto vlogging ones in there. And then I just go to the moto vlogging on my app. And then it just shows me like the four shots that I need to get while I'm moto vlogging. It just keeps it so much more simple and structured. I used to use notes. I used to use Trello. I used to use like three or four different apps and try to, you know, mix them all up and all that. And it's just got so confusing. It was so horrible to use. This is all just here in this one app, which is so, so awesome. I love it. And then that's that's pretty much it for each YouTube video. So this is like the whole YouTube, you know, video package experience just in that little, that little, this little guy here. It just grows and grows and grows, which is awesome. But then with this, you can also change the layout. So we can go project status. Let's just say this tam, uh, TEC camshaft upgrade. It is there, I've scripted it all, it's ready to go. It's just been a damn process to get everything rolling. So let's just say research planning. Now this is like the Trello, where you can sort of just move everything in different, like allotted um, slots. So you can just grab that 
and you can bring it over to here. So it went from research planning now into scripting column. Now you can go to the overview and there it is, TC camshaft upgrades and now it's on the scripting part. Isn't that insane? You can go back over here, project status, and now it's back over here again. You can change the way, you can change the view of, of everything, the layout. You can sort them by a different way if you want, publish date, um, status, and I mean, yeah, it is pretty involved. But once you get the hang of it, it's literally a dream. Okay, so now to get started for your YouTube video, all you have to do over here is click on the little down arrow there and go YouTube templates. And then you can go through and start inputting all your your different, your different things, publish date, your sponsor status and all that sort of stuff. You can also click up here and go open as a full page. If you want a quick access to it, just hit that and boom, it's over there. And, um, and you can literally start working through it and everything sort of all pops up. So if you've got tags, A roll, B roll and everything, what sort of shot you want, close, wide. It's all basically just ready to rock and roll. Start scripting away, start working away, start making your YouTube videos, which is really cool. And we're only scratching the surface here, guys. There are so many tutorials out there on YouTube, so make sure you go and check them out. It can be a little complex, like it is a damn beast of an app. But this is an app that I've been looking for for the last 10 years. It is super versatile and in my opinion is a damn life hack. Whenever I'm creating a new project, I make a new page up and I just start listing out all the things that I need to get done. And I start just ticking them off. I can drag those checklists into my to-do list. And you can just start literally just working your way through every single project that you want to create. It's incredible. It's such a useful tool and it's insane that it's free. I just can't believe that all this, it's all for free. That blows my mind. It's so sick. So thank you again, Notion, for sponsoring this video and to you guys for watching this video. I really hope you took something away from this and that you get out there and start creating something bigger and better, things that you never knew that you could actually create by structuring all this down. Just take your time and work through it. You got this. I'll see you in the next vid. Peace.